Hello again YouTube. Just wanted to uh, do another quick video. I'm going to try and put a couple of segments together this time for a few different things we're working on today. Um, we are growing some spices and things so I wanted to kind of share those with you. I know uh, Nichols Retirement Empire he is growing some in, uh, in pots. So I wanted to let him know you know I am as well. We don't grow everything in the actual garden areas or in our planter box but uh, we do have uh, dill here which uh, it's pretty much gone down now because we keep clipping it off because we put the uh, dill heads in our jars for our pickles and I'll hopefully show and add uh, uh, the jars of pickling we did yesterday to the video. Uh, next to that we have sage and uh, yeah, as you can see our sage does get eaten up by on the leaves by some uh, some bugs and stuff because they're out here. Uh, I think it's the same Chinese beetle like you, you're having problems with. We also have some cactuses because we are from California. So we've got that. We've got some uh, basil, which is out here. And then we've got some, uh, some mint over here. Now the mint and the basil are out here, not because we necessarily eat them or use them that much, but they're supposed to keep the mosquitoes away. Uh, I'm not being eaten right now so I guess it's uh, working for right now but uh, we do grow these we also have uh, some rosemary and uh, a couple other ones that we're growing and those will be on our back deck in little potted plants so that's what's out here talk to you later hello again YouTube just wanted to continue showing you some more of the spices we have growing this is our back deck. We have some uh, rosemary growing here. And uh, then we have some other little starter plants uh, that we just started over here. Then we have another rack here of starter plants that uh, we've got some uh, chives growing on the bottom. And we've got a couple of starter plants for uh, apple and pear, I believe these ones are. And then we have other cucumbers, and uh, we have some cilantro that we're trying to start again. Uh, on the other side over here, we have one ginormous carrot. And uh, then we have some other chives and onions that are started here. Some other starting uh, fruit trees that we're trying to see if we can uh, get them going out here. It's really hard to grow some fruit trees out here, especially when the squirrels steal all your fruit. And then we have some other big potted plants for some larger things when we want to transplant them over. Talk to you later. Hello again YouTube. Wanted to show you uh, another item that uh, we're doing. <clears throat> we had a lady that was moving out of uh, the state. And she was having a yard sale and she had this ginormous bag of these peppers that were kind of soft at the time. And... Uh, she didn't want them, and we asked her how much, and she said, oh, you guys can just take them. Now, what they appear to be is uh, like an Anaheim chili that went to red, and, and they were all uh, soggy. Uh, we got them. We dried them out till they kind of got crunchy, and then we, uh, we ripped the tops off of them and shook as many of the seeds out of them as we can and then now we're just leaving them outside for several days so that they'll dry out even better and then we're going to grind it up and make our own hot pepper flakes out of it and uh, like I said this was a free one for us so it'll make uh, quite a bit we also got these cool black trays from the same lady she used them to grow um, different uh, kinds of weeds and barley and stuff for her for her cattle in these trays but uh, she gave them to us and there's like 20 of the trays in a box and she just didn't want them gave them to us so we're like all right we'll take whatever you don't want so we're using them as uh, drying trays outside in the sun and it is uh, getting up into the 90s uh, out here so these are drying pretty good pretty soon they're a little bit uh, crunchy and uh, they'll make some really good hot pepper flakes Talk to you later. Hello again YouTube. Another update video for the garden series. Wanted to show you uh, what we picked today. Uh, as you can see we got uh, one acorn squash. 
one ginormous pickle. This is actually from yesterday. We're going to be doing something with it today. But uh, one nice acorn squash. Uh, we've got some uh, sesame seed leaves from the from the plants. This is a uh, some Asian delicacy thing that they eat. So we got those. We got some more zucchini squashes growing that are ready to go. Pretty pretty nice size. More cucumbers. We got uh, six cucumbers off the plant today. There's more growing. They're going to be getting a little bit bigger. We also got, we picked our uh, Anaheim's yesterday because we were going to be making some uh, chili rellenos. So we'll be roasting these to get the skins off of them, splitting them, de-seeding them. Cheese on the inside, egg batter on the outside. Mm-mm, good. Yep, we're going to be eating these for days. We're going to make them and then uh, freeze them. So we'll have uh, have plenty of them. And then for those of you who watch the... Uh, Video update from yesterday. We did do canning as well. Uh, we got uh, we had six jars of pickles. One of them uh, cracked, so we just threw the whole thing away. But uh, these are the smaller gherkin pickles, and you can see I got a dragon cayenne pepper in the bottle there. Add a little kick. That's uh, just one of the things we do with our recipe. Add a little kick into it there. But uh, so we ended up with five of those that made it. Then uh, my wife mixed up jalapenos, onions, the tomatoes we grew, and made three jars of homemade salsa. This has the uh, dragon cayennes in it, so we're probably going to end up having this be a little bit hotter than um, the original batch that we made. And then I wanted to try something new, so I made some uh, nacho jalapeno slices, pickled some uh, jalapeno slices left the seeds in them everything so they're going to be hot which would be really nice but I made uh, two of those just so that we can have them not that we eat a lot of these but uh, we may actually find a use for them and I'd rather have them and uh, not need them than to need them and not have them as uh, everybody's aware so but uh, this is our haul for the day today we're also going to be uh, dropping some more of the stuff off uh, to our pastor, uh, some possibly tonight, and some we have. We're going to be picking uh, some additional items on Sunday and taking uh, to him. Uh, our pastor loves these uh, cucumbers. He's got a very large family of five kids, so uh, he loves these. And we give him uh, some of our Asian melons, which are these melons here, and uh, he loves them. And uh, we'll give him as many as he can take. We have plenty growing as you can tell by some of the other videos. But uh, this is the haul for today. Talk to you later.